Hi everyone. I am here today to talk about my energy healing practitioner, I'm typing this as I'm saying it, <laughs> certification program. So if you have any questions about my certification coming up on February um, 10th, um, comment if you have questions about, okay, so let me pin this. So thank you to those who are joining me live and for those who may be watching this replay later. I'm gonna just be going over some questions that people have been asking and then some general um, overviews of what the certification is about, what you will get, um, how much time and all of that good stuff. But please go ahead and ask me any questions in the meantime if you have anything um, that you want me to answer during the live. And if you know anyone who is interested in taking the certification program, please share this live. Um, I'm very happy and honored um, to the students who have registered already. And so um, I'm really excited to see if there's anyone else who is ready to join us. And so with that, um, let me just introduce myself. My name is Jennifer and I am the creatrix of the Mystic Living School. I've been uh, doing this certification program for now four years. This is my fourth year uh, doing this training. I've loved it. I've had a really good time. Um, I've loved the experience of meeting all the new practitioners who have come through. And I love the fact that um, the community is growing and that all of the practitioners are, you know, making their own communities and they're networking and coordinating things. And so that has been my dream is to create this uh, space for um, empaths, you know, for women of color, empaths, leaders, um, healers who want to be part of something and who want to make an impact and a difference while learning how to heal themselves, while learning how to tap into your intuition, while learning how to um, connect with your ancestral medicine and all that good stuff. So I'm very honored to be able to teach this to other people um, who are ready for the journey. And just a little bit about me, my background. Um, I have a variety of things that I've done. Um, I started out in mental health. I was a, a child care worker at a group home for about off and on for about 10 years. And I got my, um, let's see, got my master's in social work. So I used to do clinical social work. I was a psychotherapist for many years. Um, and then in, in those years, I also In that time, I also became a certified massage therapist um, and learned about the body. And I just always knew like there was still more for me to learn. I'm always, um, I'm a student for life and I've always wanted to learn about how to heal myself, first of all, but also how to um, help others. I've always been drawn to helping people, even as a kid, you know, um, I could always feel um, people's emotions. Uh, I also had anxiety as a kid, self-esteem issues, and um, just wanted to always um, learn about natural ways to heal myself. I was also raised Catholic, so I have a, you know, religion as my background. I'm not a practicing Catholic anymore, and if you are, that's fine. Um, nothing to say about that, but um, that's essentially where um, the foundation of being of service is being, you know, part of this world, this land, um, this one life that we're here, this opportunity to be able to help others, uh, specifically for those who are suffering, for those who are struggling with uh, childhood trauma, toxic relationships, uh, worthiness and all those things. So that's also something that if you wanted to specialize in as you take my certification program, those are things that I can share with you one-on-one -on -one, uh, and guide you through that um, opportunity. 
So again, thank you so much for joining me. If you have any specific questions that you want to ask me about my certification program, please go ahead and do that in the comments. Um, so one of the first things that I wanna share is when do we start? We start um, our winter uh, course February 10th through uh, May 17th, I believe. It's for um, three months and we will meet online and in person. So this is a hybrid um, program. Uh, what that means is that mainly we will be meeting online, but there will be once a month where we're gonna meet in person and online. So for those of you who can't make it out, uh, I'm in the LA area, Los Angeles area. So for those of you who can't make it out to LA, um, and you want to still take the course, you can, you will be able to just uh, meet with us online. And I've had other students in the past that has not been a problem. Um, we'll work around that and so on. So those days that we meet in person, you'll still be able to have an opportunity to learn and practice and all of those things. But we start February 10th. Um, it's a weekend. Our first two classes are a weekend, so it's Saturday, Sunday. It's all day from 9 to 4 p.m. That is specific time. So if you're in a different area, different part of the world, just make sure that you check your time zone. Um, 9 to 4 may sound like a long time, but honestly, it goes by very fast. It There's so much that we do and activities that we do. And, and of course, you're like meeting people and you're telling, you know, your story about who you are, like why you're here, your signs and all that. We go into our astrological signs and um, yeah, we just create a really uh, beautiful bond in the very beginning and then we do a lot of practice and it also helps you to demystify or let let you also experience what it means to do distance healing so from the get-go we're going to be already practicing those things and i'll be teaching you some techniques and tools and so on um, for the first day of class you will need to bring a pendulum if you don't know what that is, just make sure to reach out. Um, in the course, I do give you a description of what that looks like. I give you an example of what that is. So you will need to bring a pendulum because we are gonna be working on how to do chakra and aura assessments using the pendulum. Um, let's see. And again, go ahead and ask me any questions. Um, so what are the certification requirements? Um, the certification requirements is that it, this is a hundred hour uh, training course. What that means is that we're going to be spending time weekly. Our classes are mainly on Tuesday nights. There are some days or some weeks um, that we'll be meeting on a different day because those are the training days that are hybrid. Um, so when we have a class on a different day than Tuesday, then that's going to be just your class for the week. But we'll be meeting every week. Um, and those are your training times. So we'll be, you'll also get access to video lessons and as well as the live lecture time. And then you're going to be practicing with other students. So we'll have hours of class training time, um, direct practice hours. So what that means, what is special about this certification program is that you're not just going to learn the techniques and tools, you're actually gonna integrate what it is that we're learning. So you'll be doing that in class and you'll also be doing that with other um, volunteers. So if it's your family, your friends, coworkers, if you need help with getting volunteers, which I'm sure you're not going to, no one's ever had any problems getting volunteers, but you'll be practicing and um, implementing what you've been learning in class and you're actually creating your healing sessions. So by the time you graduate, by the time you finish the program, you're not going to be like, oh my gosh, I've never done a session before. You're going to be doing sessions throughout the whole three months. You're just going to keep improving it and keep implementing the things that you're learning. And it's like a recipe. You know, I always think of this as like, I'm going to give you the recipe and you get to decide which ingredients you want to use and make it your own unique style. 
my style of teaching is here, I'm going to give you the information, but it's really up to you and your preference, um, your intuition. Maybe it's a cultural thing. Maybe it's a family thing that you're raised by. And so you want to start implementing those um tools and modalities and remedies like bring all of that in because this is a space for you now to like really hone in on your craft on your gifts okay so there's that um you will also have access to some other self-study courses so specifically you're going to be specializing in crystal therapy in um meditation uh, you're going to be learning some skills of sound healing so i know like 99.9% .9 of my students who end up taking this course they absolutely love the sound healing portion of it they want to learn more about sound healing so i just want to give you guys a heads up that this is not just about sound healing this that sound healing is just one modality inside the certification program um, but i will be teaching you um, the basics of how to use sound healing tools sound healing instruments sound healing in general in your sessions if you want to learn more about sound healing that is going to be a separate um, training. So if you're looking for just sound healing, know that that's um, coming this year. You know, I've been teaching that too, um, but that is separately. But if you want to get a taste of it and start learning how to use, you know, tuning forks, crystal bowls, your voice, chanting, drumming, um, the gong, you know, all the different um tools that you can use if you want to learn the basics of how to incorporate that into your session yes that's what this certification is going to train you it's going to teach you um you'll also be uh, getting group supervision so what that's going to look like is that outside of our class training time we will get together if you have any specific questions, like if you have a case review, if you're working with the client and maybe some ethical issues come up or you're like, I don't know what to do in this situation. What do you think I should do? You know, um, or if maybe it's a business question. Maybe you're wanting to figure out, well, what do I offer to my community? What does my sessions look like? Those are the things that you'll be able to do during our group supervision time. And that is something that is separate than our class training time. So it's just an extra thing. It's just an extra way to get support and guidance. You also have that as a one-on-one -on -one with me. So if you wanted to work more privately with me, you get an opportunity to book um, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, individual supervision with me and you can ask me any questions or maybe like your imposter syndrome's coming up. Maybe you're doubting yourself because definitely we all have those days and maybe you don't want to share in the group, even though I welcome it, like usually people do anyways, but maybe if you wanted to go in a little bit more deeper and keep it more private, uh, you absolutely have that that um, access to me as well for that additional support and guidance. You also get your own uh, free energy healing cleanse. So as a student of my, <coughs> excuse me, hold on, let me get some water. Ooh, caught something in my throat. As a student of mine, you get a free energy cleanse. And this way it, it serves two purposes. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry. It serves two purposes. One is I want you to experience um, what I do. Like I want you to experience my, my energy healing style um, and for you to like take an opportunity to learn from that, right? And two is that this program is about it's designed to help you to tune into yourself like your own self-care you need to make sure that you're always protecting yourself and making sure that your energy is balanced your mind body spirit all of that is balanced so this is just a treat that I want to give to each student and in case you're not able to come um in case you're not able to uh, do these sessions with me in person, well, you get one session, but in case you're not able to do a, a, an in-person energy cleanse with me, you can do it online. So that's not a problem. Either way, it's totally fine. 
Um, what else? If you cannot make a class, you will have to make up the hours. And by making up the hours, I give you a, uh, a log sheet. So you'll be logging all of your outside training times, like when you're doing your um, one-on-ones with people, or let's say like you wanna start doing TikToks or Instagram Lives and teaching or sharing with people about what you're learning. You're gonna be counting all of those um, hours towards your training hours. So you can do the same thing in case you miss a class. So you'll be able to make it up really easily or let's say you miss um, a supervision, you know, um, you can make it up by visiting a crystal shop or maybe you go to a meditation class or maybe you participate in a sound bath or something. Like you can count all those hours, okay? As long as it's about you learning something. If you're just doing it to like for self-care, that's all good. I want you to keep doing that. But if it's not about you learning something, then no, you can't count those hours. Otherwise, you can listen to podcasts, YouTubes, you know, people here or, you know, if I'm doing anything live that's about educational stuff on energy healing, energy medicine, vibrational tools. Sure. Yeah, you can count those hours, but it has to be outside of our lecture time. Uh, let's see. So I do expect everyone to come to class every week. However, I understand life happens. If you're a parent um, and you have kids and you need to take them to their soccer games or baseball games, like I totally get that. So just give me a heads up ahead of time if you can't make the class. But I do like to keep the class um, consistent because it, it does create a family unit. It does create a sacred space. So you want to just make sure like you're bonding and connecting with people. And so like if you're in and out or if you're really not there, people aren't going to really like feel like you're present. So just out of respect for everyone to um, please make sure that you do that. Also too, um, when you are in our class, I do require that you have your video on. So please make arrangement to make sure that you have your video on so that again, you're, you're building relationship, you're building rapport. And if you're also practicing with another student, you know, the student needs to see that you're present, that you're there. Okay. So there's that. Um, let's see. So when you're done with your training hours, um, and let's say that you're on a payment plan, then you will receive, I will mail you your certification. Um, you'll get your certificate. So you'll become a certified, you know, a professional certified energy healer. So you'll be able to start charging and all of those things and implementing what we've been learning or continuing to implement. Um, so more specifically, what are some of the tools and techniques that you're going to learn. Um, like I mentioned, the first week we're going to be going over um, the basics about the chakra centers. You're going to be learning about how to do a chakra reading, an aura reading. Um, I'm also going to be teaching you about the elements so how to work with the fire, water, air, earth, you know, our natural um, elements, our mother earth elements, um, and learning how to integrate the elementals, the chakras, the mental health, the physical, all of those things. You'll, you'll be learning how to integrate all of that into, you know, a really unique and beautiful and sacred um, healing session. So, um You'll be learning the basics of that. You're also going to be learning about uh, an additional set of chakras, the higher chakras. So I'm not going to go into detail about that. But for those of you who want to learn more than just the seven um, basic chakra centers, um, I'm going to be teaching you ones that are more in the um, auric era or the aura, <laughs> the aura area, right? Okay, bear with me. <clears throat> um, you're also going to be learning about doing uh, meridian openers. 
So the meridians are our highways. They are the freeways of our chi energy, our life force energy. So there are specific uh, pressure points, trigger points, acupuncture points on the body that you will be learning how to um, activate and making sure that your life force energy is moving. So when you have clients who may come in and they're depressed, they're anxious, maybe they feel lost, maybe they're drained, maybe they're stressed out, maybe they're an overworked parent and they just like they just need to rest or maybe they need to get something out. You know, using these different modalities is going to be so life transformational and learning these tools is going to be like, you're going to love it. You're going to be like, oh my God, <laughs> you're going to see the transformations. Um, yes. So you're going to be learning about how to do these uh, meridian openers and then our connections between our organs, um, our chakra centers, like I said, our mental health, all of those things. So we're going to be diving into a, a metaphysical type of approach, right? So you're going to tap in and sharpen your intuitive abilities while also learning about the metaphysical aspects of energy healing um, and spirituality and spiritual healing. Um, the one... One of the other tools you'll be learning specifically is crystal therapy, crystal healing. So I'll be showing you um, how to work with your crystals, how to use crystals for healing. So whether you're placing them on the body, if you're placing them on your actual uh, energy centers, or maybe you intuitively feel like you need to create some type of crystal grid around the body or on the body, we're going to be talking about why that is going to help someone's vibrational shift, how that's going to change their frequency, how you're going to raise someone's vibrations, incorporating crystals as well. So um, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you're also going to be learning about um, how to create sacred space, like how to prepare for the session, how to protect yourself, how to make sure that you don't get sick yourself or get drained or get like their negative energy. And negative energy doesn't mean like a curse or anything. It doesn't That's not the extreme I'm talking about but like if you feel something like how to make sure that you don't take that with you right so um you know and especially to you know working out of your home or if you're working out of a studio or some place like how do you protect your areas so you're going to be learning about that and learning about altars how to create your altars um how to create an ancestral altar so diving in more into your lineage, like one of the things that I've discovered doing this work is my connection to my ancestors spiritually, you know, my ancestors who have transitioned, um, my elders who have guided me through this process. So I, I think that that's one of the beautiful blessings that is that has come from this certification program is that people start to dive in more into their family lineage, into your heritage and incorporating, you know, some of the customs or remedies, as I mentioned, you know, what remedies did you grow up with or did you didn't even realize like that, that you grew up with, but now you can start incorporating them into your sessions, you know, so those are always fun to incorporate. Um, we're also going to be talking about and weekly practicing what is distance healing and does it really work? Like, does it matter if you have a session where it's a live session? Does it matter whether or not you actually are a practitioner who books sessions by emails? Like, there's no time. So we're going to be helping you to demystify and learning how to overcome some of these more cognitive, earthbound, um, um, uh -oh, uh, more earthbound, like primitive kind of thinking. We're going to go beyond that and go into your higher consciousness. And then that's what's going to lead us into um, your meditation practice, as well as learning how to do trance journeys. So trance journeys is 
learning how to put someone into a deep trance, a deep meditative state where you can take them into altered states, altered realms. That is more of in my advanced training, uh, in my apprenticeship. But this certification is going to teach you the basics of how to do that. So usually people, by the time they finish the, the program, you're basically just learning how to put someone into a trance, but maybe you're not taking them into different realms, but maybe you're helping them to relax and you're putting that person into a deep meditative state where they feel so um, naturally able to, to rest that that's also where the healing happens, okay? So you're going to be learning about trance journeys as a, and I, as I mentioned, learning about sound healing, incorporating different modalities using um, sound or tools of sound. Um, also going to be looking at the different levels of consciousness, as I mentioned, for the trance journeys. Um, how to incorporate essential oils. So one of the things that you're going to also be getting in the certification program is your own healer's kit. So I'm going to be giving you um, seven chakra rollers. So if this is your introduction to essential oils, you'll at least be able to experiment with them. And then learning how to incorporate essential oils or plant medicine into your practice, into your healing sessions. So being able to do those basics. Um, learning how to um, create or you will, every student will be creating their own opening prayer. So an opening prayer is some type of blessing or some type of prayer that you're doing before you prepare for the session. And you do that with the client you, or you could do that with yourself, however you want to incorporate it. So again, I'm just giving you all the ingredients, um, the ways of how you can structure your session, but you can do it however you want. And then you'll also learn about how to close the session. And that also includes some type of like gratitude, um, closing prayer or closing blessings, those kinds of things. Um, let's see. Um, we'll be looking at some of the basics, the simple uh, techniques of breath work. So how to help someone who may be having a lot of anxiety, trauma, um, some heart centered stuff, maybe they're stuck. Um, maybe it's, it's blocked or it's closed, however you want to call it under active, whatever the language is. That's also something too, that you're going to learn is what language, how do you want to describe energy? So, you know, um, learning about some basic techniques of breath work, moving, opening up the heart center, expanding the lung, expanding the air element in their body. So learning that. You're also going to be going over what are the uh, responsibilities of the healer. Um, so your healer skills and how to prepare some techniques, what your role is, your self-care practice, as I mentioned, um, learning about energetic boundaries. You're also going to be exploring your triggers, you know, um, some shadow work. We're going to be looking at could some of what your clients are going through trigger something in you? Does it bring up shadow work? Does it bring up um wounds from the past or unhealed things from your childhood, you know, so we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on that, but those things can come up. And that's also why having access to me for um, supervision is essential as well, because if these things do come up, I want you to know that you have the support with me in the program. Um, the protocol. So we'll be looking at some informal formal protocols again i'm not a big stickler on having to do you know everything so rigid everything has to be in order that's not what i was gifted and that's not how i teach um, you're going to be learning how to intuitively organically create these very deep moving beautiful sacred healing sessions
Okay, we're also going to be looking at, um, you're going to learn about, well, how do you get to the root cause of some of what's, some of the situations that, you know, people are going through. So if you're more of like a root worker or you want to understand, you know, what could be causing some of this underactive or overactive um, uh, root chakra, you can look at, you're going to be learning how to get to the root cause. Now, mind you, our boundaries of we are not clinicians, we're not doing therapy, but by understanding as a practitioner what some of the root causes are, you're going to be able to provide a very deep, unique experience for your clients who want to go deeper. And this, for again, for you as a practitioner, if you're one who wants to go deeper into people's uh, struggles and challenges, if you're a practitioner who wants to offer more than just one session, that part is definitely something that you're going to want to um, explore more. Um, that's also my background. You know, I'm a, my background's in mental health as a clinician. So I have that experience and being able to bridge that aspect of my background with the energies and the elementals um, has really provided a very holistic experience for my clients. And so that's, you know, I'm here to help you with that. And again, you know, we're not therapists, we're not in that role. And you have to make sure too. So if you are going to enroll and you are a clinician, that I'll be, uh, I have actually a, um, a consent form. Um, a consent form that will explain like how to uh, differentiate. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, so definitely make sure you get legal advice on this. But I do have a template that you can use that will explain um, how you how to get consent for clients if you're doing if you're doing therapy and you're also doing um, energy work. Okay. Uh, let's see. You'll also be looking at the do's and don'ts. Um, looking at, you know, cultural diversity and just making sure that, you know, we have some level of cultural competency, um, our ethical and professional standards of practice and care. Uh, one of the beautiful things um, that we'll be learning too, that you're going to be learning more deeply is what are your clear senses? So what I mean by that, like what are your higher senses? What are your psychic senses? Like how do you receive information to read the energies? So you're going to actually learn the language and what does that mean? What does that look like in your sessions so that you're not just like, uh, I don't know. I'm just experiencing something. No, you're going to have the language. You're going to have the confidence. You're going to have the understanding, the clarity around how your clairs are helping you to provide the, the intuitive understanding of what may be going on for the client and then intuitively know which modalities to use for that person for that session okay so that part i absolutely love and i think people really have enjoyed understanding you know more of that psychic ability more of the psychic sense and then you know um demystifying destigmatizing you know, that word psychic, you know, oh, that's so taboo. That's so like scary. But, you know, if any, if anything, it's all good. Like I don't work with any black magic. I don't do any type of like negative things like that. So when I'm talking about your higher senses, your psychic senses, that's all for the greater good. It comes from the divine God, universe, creator, you know, um, so just it's faith, like deepening your faith. Okay. Um, all right. And so then towards the end of the program, we're going to be going over the fundamentals of how to, um, price your services or your offerings. Uh, I've had students who have done a combination of where they start, uh, doing one-on-one -on -one sessions or maybe they're doing healing circles or group sound baths or something or a combination and they're also selling products so we can go into that if you need more help with that we could definitely do that more one-on-one -on -one. 
because we don't get to that towards until the end of the certification. Um, let's see. Mm. So yeah, so we'll just be looking at a, a well-rounded um, scope of vibrational healing, the yin-yang energies, the masculine feminine energies, how to balance again, like you're going to be learning, you're, it's going to be like stacked each week of information of a different modality up to a point up to like, I think week five, and then at that point, then you're going to incorporate everything of what you learned and then what you want to use and what works for you, what doesn't work for you. So just keep that in mind too. Like this certification program is to acknowledge your gifts. It's to help you to prepare for your healing sessions. It's also to deepen your relationship with yourself. So not only are you learning to help others, but you're doing it for yourself most important gift that you can give to yourself is learning how to bring peace to yourself, learning how to forgive, learning how to um, bring more joy into your life, bring more happiness into your life. So this, all this that you're doing is so much, so important for you to study this for yourself first and then apply what you've learned, the experience, the actual hands-on, the tangible experience that you've learned, and then help others to do the same. You know, obviously everyone's going to have their own unique experience, but you will have firsthand, you will be a testimonial to these techniques and tools and the craft that you create, how it has affected and changed your life. I mean, that's the whole point of me doing this, right? Like this is my life's work, um, my years, my whole adult life's work of learning and incorporating these different energy healing modalities. And sure, some of these are more of the traditional sense, you know, going to my own trainings, going to my own certifications. But a lot of this too has been naturally gifted to me. You know, my ancestors, my elders have been able to provide me and guide me some of these things. And so that's also what I am giving back, you know, because before I started this, that was the download I, that I got was that they said, hey, Jen, we know you love doing your one on one sessions, but it's time for you to start helping other healers um, through this, you know, by teaching that I would be teaching other healers how to help heal their own communities and that there's this rippling effect. So when I got that call, I was like, all right, I'm going to do this, you know, shifting gears because, yes, I do love providing uh, and working with clients. I still do have private clients. Um, I get private bookings and I, I don't know if I'm ever going to stop that, you know, at some point when I retire, but I love teaching and I love doing my one on one still. And of course, I always love my other private bookings, but uh, just wanted to let you know that that's where a lot of this comes from is my 20 plus years of learning these different healing modalities and making sense of all of this, right? <laughs> so um, learning how to do that um, so that we can impact and change lives for our communities. Um, let's see, let me go through some of the questions. So one of the things that I get is, what if this is not a right time for me? What if I can't afford it? How can I pay for this? That's like the number one thing all the time. I don't know if I can afford it. I don't know if this is the right time. Well, I don't know what to tell you because it's like, when is the right time? You know, there's never really like the perfect time. I've used this analogy before. Like when I became a mom, I we didn't plan when I got pregnant, 
sorry, I didn't plan. We didn't plan when I got pregnant. And so there was no perfect time. Like there wasn't just this rainbow in the sky that said, oh, this is the perfect time for me to become a mom, you know? So I don't know realistically if you're going to ever have this like perfect time. You're going to have the perfect money. Um, your financial situation is going to just be so perfect. I don't know if it's going to be that, um, you know, perfect in, in a sense. Um, but if it's the right time, then it's the right time, you know? And that's one thing that I've surrendered to is that whoever is in the certification program is supposed to be there. And it doesn't matter what size it is. It's a matter of who is there and who is ready to have an impact in their world, in their communities, with their clients, with themselves. And so if that feels like you, if it, if you can just figure out, like, if you're low on funds, yes, I've taken like programs and certifications that I did not have money for that were not in my budget, but I figured it out. I found a way and it worked and I'm very grateful. So my goal is too, is that not only is this an investment into yourself, but it's an investment that is going to hopefully take you to the next level where you're actually like doing the services, like you're actually getting paid clients, you know, and the fact too, that you are also investing back into your community. I am a woman of my community. I am my people. Like I have the struggles. I understand. I am not up here on this high mountain. You know, I am human. So being able to know like what you're investing in, you know, this, this is my um, only source of income. So like you're investing in and supporting someone in the community. So I hope that that also um, will enlighten you. You know, I'm not a corporation, all of that good stuff. So I'm not a big thing like that. Um, so anyways, so yes. Yeah, so if you're looking for the perfect time, sorry to tell you, there's no perfect time. If your intuition, if your spirit, if you keep getting messages, if the synchronicities are falling into place, those are the signs that I would say, yeah, that's probably a good time, you know, but if your logical mind or your fear based mind keeps confusing you, you know, you're just listening to that and not listening to your spirit or your soul you know, so, or your guides. So if you need to, uh, work through some of that, I'm definitely here for you. I am absolutely okay with doing customized payment plans. So if you need a different payment plan, that's totally fine. Just contact me. Um, you do want to though, if you're going to sign up, um, the early bird special does end this Friday, the 26th. So if you are interested, uh, I do need you to make sure to um, reach out if you need a new uh, customized payment plan so that we can figure it out. And then it's, you know, then you'll sign an agreement and everything and then it's legit. Right. So I am a business, so I got to keep contracts and everything legit. Right. So <laughs> I'm totally fine with creating customized payment plans. That's not an issue. Um I'm just happy if you can, if you just say yes to yourself and you're motivated, let's do this. You know, there's, there's no doubt about that. Okay. Uh, if I'm just getting started and I don't have any healing experience yet, is this program for me? Yes, absolutely. So this program is for all levels. It's mainly specifically for the beginner, not like the super beginner, like, um, if you actually know the energy healing or you've heard the word chakra, meditation, that kind of thing, like, yes, you're fine. Um, but it's usually for people who also, you know, have a little bit more experience too. So it, it's like the beginner, intermediate, maybe some advanced. I've had some advanced students in my class and they still get experience. They still are learning new things, just having community here. So, you know, just knowing that um, that, yeah, you're fine. You're in the right place. Um, if you're already certified, so let's say the opposite, maybe you already are certified Reiki, or you have some training in sound healing, breath work. Um, you know, is this program still for you? Yes. Uh, what I've heard, I think 
99% of my students, maybe 90% of my students are already Reiki certified. And what I've heard from them, because I asked them, I'm like, well, why, why take my course still? And what is consistent is um, they need more guidance, you know, because my understanding is like you guys are certified in a weekend and that's really it. So um, this is a three month program and not to diss those other programs. That's great. I'm happy for that. But if you're looking for more guidance, you need more clarification, you need more practice, right? You're going to need to do outside a practice outside of class. You'll be getting practice in class, but outside class. So that's why. Um, I also, too, what I've heard is that I give a, a, a deeper explanation of the energy system and how it's connected to our mind, body, um, and intuition. So, yeah, so that's fine. It, you know, this program is very comprehensive. So this is for the multi-passionate, multi-faceted um, practitioner. Um, what's the commitment? weekly classes Tuesday nights two and a half hours if you're on the east coast that's fine I've had multiple students come through parents who come through on the east coast yes it's late um, the classes are from 6 to eight thirty. yes it's late but it's only for a short amount of time and it's once a week so just figure out your schedule and just make it work it's fine it's doable and plus like you get to work with other amazing healers. You know, you guys are practicing on each other. So it goes by really fast. So don't worry. You'll sleep better. Um, let's see. And then as far as like outside study time, it really just depends on you. You know, I do ask that people prepare before class because there are uh, video tutorials that you could watch. But a lot of times people will do it like an hour before, maybe they'll do it afterwards. So it really just depends on how much extra time you want to put into these self-study times. Um, so it, that's totally up to you. <coughs> uh, let's see. The times of the class, as I mentioned, so most of the classes are going to be on Tuesday nights from 6 to 8.30. That's Pacific time. But um, the ones that are going to be a hybrid, if that's on a different day, then we'll just, you know, pass that Tuesday night. Okay. I do have a payment plan. So right now during the early bird special, if you want to take advantage of it, you can start with a 197. So that'll lock you in. That'll save your spot. All you got to do is just put down 197. And then from there, you'll get monthly. Um, you, you'll be required monthly to make those payments. Those will be an automated uh, monthly payments. There's 10 payments of 197. So that's the payment plan. If you want to pay a one-time uh, payment investment, that's eighteen ninety-seven. So that's still a very good deal for as much uh, hands-on weekly. You have access to me. You are getting a steal right there. Okay, so <laughs> trust me, I know. Um, so let's say like this payment plan is something that's still a little bit out of your reach. We can figure it out where maybe one month you pay more, you know, you pay a little in the beginning. I'm totally flexible. Okay. Just contact me. Okay. <laughs> um, when we meet online, we meet on Zoom. Okay. And then um, when we do the hybrid, the in-person and the online, we'll be meeting at a studio in El Sereno, and that's in LA. What is the refund policy? If you, you have up to seven days before we start class. So if you put anything down, you have till the second. Um, otherwise, once we start, anything that you owe, you are legally binded by that. There are no refunds after that. Um, if you miss class or supervision, yes, y'all just make it up on your own time. I, I mentioned that. So where, one of the questions is, you know, where do you have all this information? So there's a student portal that you're going to get access to. So once you register, 
you'll be directed to, um, you'll, you'll get an email with all the information, all the details. Trust me, I have it all organized for you. You'll get the details of how to communicate with us. So communication is through Slack, S-L-A-C-K, Slack. And you'll be able to contact me there. You'll be able to communicate with the other practitioners. Um, and then all of the tutorial videos, the lessons, the coursework, which you'll have lifetime access to, as well as any updates. There's a student portal that you'll have access to. And the way that it, I do it is right now, since we haven't started, you don't have actual access to the curriculum that we're going to be going over every week. Um, that'll be dripped down every week. You will have immediate access to like if you wanted to start buying tools, if you wanted to start buying, um, you know, sound bowls or um, a table or something, you know, there'll, there'll be some resources there. Um, you'll also have access to the crystal therapy and the meditation course, um, a self-love course, um, and how to strengthen your intuition course. You'll actually have those immediately. So that will be that. Um, if you're one who struggled following through the through with things, how can this program help? I, I believe, and I've had this um, with other students before, I believe because we meet every week and, you know, everything's just like consistent and there's a follow through, there's a schedule, there's momentum, you know, everyone in the community is so supportive and so understanding, um, opening, like you'll want to come, you'll look forward to our Tuesday night classes. So it's not like a traditional school. You're not going to get in trouble. Um, no one's going to like put your name on the board. You're not going to get reprimanded by me. You know, none of that. It's just whatever you're able to do, let's just do it. Okay. Uh, what if you don't have a computer? Fine. You can use your phone. You can use your iPad or a tablet. Um, what if this program doesn't work for me? You know, I'm confident that it will if you do the work, like you have to participate. This is someone who is motivated to learn, who actually wants to make a difference. You're not just doing it because like you saw someone on Instagram doing these like amazing things. You're like, I just want that. And I don't want to do the work. Like that's not what this is about. Like it's not an easy ride. Um, to get the certification, you know, you know, you're going to have to practice, you're going to have to put in the hours, you're going to have to learn, you know, so be, be ready for that. Um, what do you need to bring your class? Or, or what do you need to bring to class? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, for the first couple of classes and throughout the class, you can um, please bring a pendulum, um, bring something to write with if you wanted to take notes. Um crystals, your healer's kit. Uh, we do prepare. So each class we open up with a an intentional meditation and then we close with the gratitude meditation. So that is also your practice each week is learning how to create that sacred space even in our class. Okay. So, you know, come with a candle, smudge, your crystals, oils, all of that stuff. Um, again, you know, um, the dates for the class, we start February 10th, we go to May 7th. So it's May 7th, 2024. There is a weekly schedule. So if you go to my website, uh, www.themysticlivingschool.com forward slash, I think, uh, certification. If you scroll all the way down to the Q and A section, it's going to give you what are the dates of the 2024 certification program. Um, you'll be able to click and, and see the schedule so you can actually get the dates there. Um, right now, the fall schedule is going to be changing. Uh, I am going to be restructuring the program. So this may be the last time that I have it structured in this way. So if you've been on the fins or you've been holding off, and you want just to get it done three months, 
I would suggest you do it and take it now um, because there are changes that are happening um, within the design of this. I think it'll be um, really good for everyone, especially for busy people. Um, let's see. So this certification is not for, as I mentioned, if you're not willing to come to class, if you're not willing to participate, if you're just wanting an easy ride, no. This is perfect for if you are motivated, if you're excited, if you want to um, you know, help yourself and help others, if you're just doing it for your own you know, well-being. It, you don't have to do this for any professional reason, but the bonus is being able to do this professionally. Um, someone who is just open-minded, who is, is ready to, you know, go for it. Um, and then let's see, what are you charging or why am I charging? So I'm charging this healing certification program because one, as I mentioned, you know, this is my business. This is my offering. This is my exchange. So as an entrepreneur, um, I have, um, been able to craft what I do and now I'm able to share it with others and hopefully help you to be prosperous. So the exchange for my time and my teachings and all the different um, educational systems that I've gone through as well as the time of working with clients, I'm giving you all of that in just three months. Um, can I still work with you after I complete the program? Yes, you can still work with me after you complete the program. I do have other um, programs that um, other mentorships that I offer after the program. Um, I also have a membership that I just started. So you are going to be able to participate in the membership once you um, graduate. So you will you know, be able to meet the other practitioners who have come through my certification program. Um, and I think that is everything. So I hope I've been able to answer your questions. And if there's any questions that I may have missed, um, please reach out and let me know. Um, you can DM me. Um, I'm at Mystic Living School or you can reach out to me by email. My email is info, I-N-F-O, info at the mystic living school dot com. And you, you are welcome to ask me any questions that you have. And otherwise, I hope to see you in class. And uh, again, the last day for the early bird special is this Friday and uh, at 10 o'clock p.m. That's Pacific Standard. So if you're ready to go, go to my website, www.themysticlivingschool.com forward slash certification. You can get all the details there. You could register there. If you're on Instagram and you just want to click the link, there's that, or you can DM me and I can send you the link if that's easier. So if you have been watching this all the way through, I really appreciate your time and taking the time uh, to listen to the certification program. Again, I'm very honored to be able to do this and I'm very honored for all the students who have registered and who have come through and who are in the current uh, winter curriculum. So I hope that you will join us and I will see you next time. All right, take care, bye.